Well, black people have been getting <laughs> fucked over by the government, and it continues Good because uh, Oklahoma. <laughs> high, y'all stop laughing. This is a serious one. Oklahoma High Court ends the last hope of justice for Tulsa race massacre survivors. So basically, the Oklahoma Supreme Court on Wednesday struck down a lawsuit brought by the last known survivors of the Tulsa race massacres. And uh, basically, another setback in the pursuit of justice for what is considered one of the most destructive single acts of mass violence of black people in the U.S. history. So. The Oklahoma State Supreme Court in an 8-1 ruling affirmed a decision uh, that uh, the plaintiff's public nuisance claim does not fall under the scope of Oklahoma's public nuisance statute. So the allegations don't sufficiently support a claim for unjust enrichment or the unauthorized use of names and likeness in the court's ruling. So you come in, I build my business up. Yep. Me and my friends... We 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 take our skill set, build our business up, our community up. Mm-hmm. We are holding out. We are holding our own end. Mm-hmm. We ain't fucking with you, white folks. And, and you motherfuckers see came. us doing what we doing. Why? Because some of your homies coming over here rather do business with us exactly. because you crooked motherfuckers not even keeping real with your own. You feel what I'm saying? So now you getting jealous. Now you want to throw some fake ass race. So yeah, it was a uh, you know what I'm saying. Then you gonna blow that shit up, take their money, right? So you, I, I'm asked out. <sighs> Crazy. So yeah, basically this stems around uh, the uh, basic killing uh, in Greenwood, the Greenwood district of over 300 uh, people by a white mob in 1921. There are three survivors who were young children at the time, and they're currently alive. Uh, well. Two are alive. One passed away at 102 years old. You have one vic- or two victims left. One is 110 and the other is 109. Well, the, yes. These are the last two survivors of this race massacre. Damn and money. they were seeking compensation and reparations for including punitive damages, a compensation fund, and a scholarship program for descendants of residents living in Greenwood when the violence took place. So they want the descendants... Of the people who lost their stuff in the race riot right, to which be is, able to get scholarships. Which is, it should be fair because the one thing that you always hear about black people lazy, black people don't want to do this, they don't take care of their communities. Yep. Man. We have historical facts of the opposite. Exactly. And that we have historical facts that was thriving so well they was thriving better than their white counterparts. Exactly. So, that's, that's why they burned them down. through the storyteller. Like, it always depends on who's telling the story that depicts who is doing what. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's it's a very upsetting scenario because, you know, this feels like the last chance to get any real reparations or any type of justice. You don't for, never want to hear that word, For this happening. And they're going to wait till forever to try to give them it so you know it's going to be yeah. right. Well, you know, reparations, when you hear that, when, when white folks hear that word, they, they automatically like money. Yeah. Which you don't have to, you can, you don't, reparation doesn't have to be. A paycheck because no, it has to be a paycheck. No, no, it's not has to be. I, that's yeah. not, that's that's not what, what, I, I, what I want. I was about that to get it said. It doesn't has to be just a, a lump sum paycheck because you can have like like I said, money, some money. You can have your kids go to college for free anywhere in the state. Mm-hmm. The value of a college education varies. You're right. So that's so if you able to if go, they want to so, go to college. Ex- what if they don't exactly. want to go to college? What okay. if they don't want to do something else? So I feel like the best form of reparations in anything is money. Cause, why? Because it, it own this, we own this country. I know. That's why though you ain't if getting it. If you take the wages of of a slave. And you multiply that now to the de- today's standard. With inflation added. I know. It's, we will it's own this be, country, bro. I know. It'd be in the trillions. <laughs> we own They've already country. calculated. We'll be, they owe us trillions. We'll, we'll, right. we'll, ain't trying to do shit. Exactly. They to, you Man, know. listen. They could have nipped this shit in the bud 100, Way 100, 100 bad, years yeah. ago. Long time ago. Uh, 400, 400 plus years ago, it could have nipped this shit in the bud. Mm-hmm. It would have been cheaper. Yeah, but the two survivors are going to file a petition for rehearing with the Oklahoma Give Supreme me, Court. Man. And uh, they also called for the Justice Department to open an investigation into the Tulsa race massacre under the Emmett Till Unsolved Civil Rights Act of 2007. 
They didn't include any details of what that entails, but hopefully that's kind of their last line of defense and getting some sort of justice for that. That story I had to share because it just kind of pissed me off. And uh, I did think it was kind of important to share that because a lot of people may not be aware of what's going on and the injustices in our country. So it's just something to keep in mind. But we're going to keep it moving.